Good evening everyone, I'm Luke Notestein. A victory for the UNC Asheville men's basketball team would be their 10th straight at home. The Bulldogs taking on Longwood today at Kimmel Arena. Let's go to the first half. Keith Hornsby picks up the steal and he's going to go coast to coast. Hornsby, is he going to lay it in? No, he's going to elevate, double pump and jam. Thank you very much Bulldogs. Up early, a little bit later in the game, Hornsby finds Jeremy Adkins who gets it to John Wanunu for the bucket to increase the lead. Adkinson leads the way with 17 points. And then Will Weeks, the star freshman, up and under, off the glass for two. Weeks playing very well in his freshman season. And UNC Asheville gets the win, 68-65. to Meanwhile, Western Carolina looking to snap a two-game losing streak on the road tonight at Chattanooga. The Catamounts started off the game hot, and that continued all the way until the final buzzer. Trey Sumler has 25 points to lead Western to victory, 90-81. to Tom Tankowitz had 21 points, and Brandon Boggs had 19. The Catamounts improved to 5-2 in conference play. They're going to play Davidson on Thursday. The UNC Asheville women's team hosting Gardner-Webb this afternoon at Kimmel Arena. Janine Buckner buries the triple from the top of the key. She had three points. A couple of plays later, Brittany Gwynn drives the lane and scores in traffic for two of her ten points. But then Gardner-Webb catches fire. Doreen Richardson gets the layup in transition. Gardner-Webb gets the victory 58-45. to about 100 kids showed up to McDowell High School today for a special baseball clinic. Donnie Suttles, a McDowell graduate, former Cleveland Indian, and now a scout for the San Francisco Giants, helped organize the showcase with the proceeds going to the McDowell Little League. Cameron Maben, the center fielder for the Padres and a T.C. Robertson alum, gave his time to help teach the kids the importance of baseball and the game of life. I think it's huge because there's so many young kids that grow up baseball fans, you know, and uh, you know, what better way to keep them involved than to, to get, you know, really personal and you go out and, and they can touch your hand and they can, you know, they can pat you on the back and they can slap high fives with you. Really good stuff today. Cameron Maben helped the camp raise $3,000 for the McDowell Little League. I just talked to Donnie Suttles on the phone. He said it was a great camp. A lot of kids showed up, a major league player there as well, so pretty cool. Yeah, That's they great. got to spend a little bit of time outside.